Hello and welcome back to a new season of The Author's Note. Now we have plenty to discuss this morning because of course Mario Draghi of the ECB has just spoken. What he said yesterday about uh, his plans for a bond purchase programme was exactly what everybody had apparently expected him to say and yet he's been rewarded with a really quite remarkable response in the market. European stock markets are rallying very impressively indeed. European bank shares are now up more than 50% in two months. It's a rally that's been going on for a long time uh, and yet uh, these words appear to have strengthened it all the more. What is going on? With me now to discuss this is our global markets commentator, Jamie Chisholm. Jamie, thanks for being here today. What exactly happened yesterday? There were plenty of fears that this was actually going to end up being a disappointment. How, how did yeah. Mario Draghi actually manage to make people so happy? Well, I think you've, you've, you've hit the nail on the head there. Mm. Th those two issues yesterday, which helped us see about a 2.4% rally mm. in uh, Europe and an almost similar rally on Wall Street, which took Wall Street to, of course, to yeah. four-year highs. Um, two elements. Uh, First is the fact that the, U uh, the data out of the US was a bit better than expected. Um, ADP and claims. Yeah, the private employment data and the claims data. And this augurs well for the non-farm payrolls data, hopefully, which is out uh, on Friday. Um, at the same time, on Friday morning, we've got uh, the hopes of more stimulus in China. They're talking about some very aggressive infrastructure projects, and that's boosted sentiment um, uh, macroeconomically, so to speak. But the main thing, of course, right. was the ECB. Now, the reason I think yep. it had such a, well, not such a big impact, but another additional piece of impact was mm. that people actually expected, I think, to be disappointed. How many times have we come up to right. an ECB deadline and there wasn't what the market was expecting? This time, I think pretty much everyone agrees the market got, as you mentioned in your intro, what it expected. And wow, what a surprise. And so off we go. OK, now let's take a quick look at uh, Eurozone. Bank shares, now uh, updating for today, we're now up more than 50% from the low there. I mean, how can you explain that kind of a rally, that kind of a switch from uh, risk off to risk on? Well, I think we can explain it mainly by the fact that it got so, they're so badly beaten down right. to begin with. And of course, you know, everyone saw the, the exposure to the, uh, the, the European banking system to the credit mm. crisis because of their exposure to sovereign bonds, etc., and the problems it could have within the financial system. Any sort of suggestion that mm. this could be paired back. And of course, as soon as short-term yields started coming down in the Eurozone periphery, the bond markets were off. Okay, now let's, let's, let's take a look at Spain and Italy, the, the markets that are most affected by this, because those are the, the countries that might be, uh, might be uh, taking advantage of bailouts as a result of this, uh, uh, of this announcement. The Italian stocks are now actually comfortably up over the last 12 months. The IBEX is up more than a third. There was a fantastic buying opportunity there. Um, I, do you have any suggestions how one could have timed this? No. It's right. a very simple answer. Neither if, do I. If, I you were a, if you were yeah. a chartist, the, the, the very essence of markets is they will be going towards their low when people become the most depressed about the situation. Now, yeah. if, 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 you were, if you were looking at, the, if, if you were in the market and you're looking at the, the chart popping down here and breaching this low, mm. you would have said to yourself, things are now looking worse here because of course this was the time when bond yields were spiking. It, it looked like it was time for capitulation. Uh, exactly, yeah. people were talking about um, a, a meltdown in the financial, um, financial markets regarding the Eurozone, then you've been very brave to buy but of course that's where good um, traders do make their money. They see that and they say okay the pessimist is overdone, I'll, I'll have a nibble here right. and there you go. And where, how, what are the chances that we can avoid another risk off wave before the end of the year? Uh, before the end of the year. I mean, can we really, we, we've had a game changer from the ECB once mm. before. We had the, uh, the LTROs there, which um, had a wonderful effect on certain other markets, managed to bring uh, Italy up for, mm. for many months. Well, well, that dissipated. Yeah, I think you've Is hit, this different? I think you've hit the nail on the head there, they're using the word game changer. The LTRO turned mm. out eventually not to be a game changer, as I've mentioned a couple of times mm. before. Spanish bond yields, for example, breached 7% and people became very worried. Mm. I think what will tell us whether this is sustainable is if those um, longer term bond yields continue to creep lower. Because that will suggest that it's not just the short term where the buying of the ECB is going to take effect, but people see this as having an effect in the longer term. Um, the other issue, of course, is away from the Eurozone, we still will have these worries about the global economic slowdown. Now, as, as I mentioned also before, got the non-farm yeah. payrolls coming out, will they improve? And then we're into the realms of um, the US presidential election and the possibility of the fiscal cliff, which is going to start lingering on people's minds as well. So we've got a number of things that are going to come through. We're in September, traditionally one of the worst months 
for stock markets. Yeah. Um, but, it, uh, but at least one aspect here, one prob problematic aspect, appears to have been partially resolved. OK, Jamie, thank you very much indeed. It's still the case that if you really want to get very positive about this market, you need to bet on a lot of politicians to make a lot of decisions that are correct. But we have to say things do look better than they did a few months ago.